Hey everyone, Sam here. Welcome back to Sammy Vostok, and today is airport day. Dun dun dun. <laughs> um, what are we looking at? You might be thinking, why are we looking at industrial buildings? That's because my airport is not so ordinary. Um, you can see there's a plane flying. <laughs> you can see there was a shadow. My airport is industrialized let's just say that you know what let's just have a look um, I'm not gonna give you guys a speed build or anything I'm just gonna go through it let's just have a look and see what you think so and no fancy music either let's just have a raw a raw look at it so let's just zoom out there we go that is the airport doesn't look like much does it but you know what smaller isn't always bad right <laughs> that came out wrong um, this is it so one side is the cargo airport the other side is just the ordinary airport for people um the cargo one is this side over here the passenger one is over this side as well now i quite like where it's situated because it's very very hidden now the map is very very hilly as we all know there isn't really much space so i didn't want to use any like flat land to build it because i in my eyes that's precious space that I want to use for other things so we had to use this part up in here which is very very it's very hilly up in here but it's hidden because we have this mountain here we have this here we have all of these huge huge trees and then if you're down here on the road you don't even see it you don't even know that it's up there um, even from over here if we go from this point and look up you don't even know that it's there you might see a plane come in but yeah, you don't you don't even know. Um, you might see it from the city. There you go. You can just you can just see it over there. So it's it's pretty hidden. Um, let's go back over. Now, uh, I like how it is. It's a good little size. It's not too big. Uh, I think if it was really huge, it would look out of place up in the mountains here. But let's go in and have a little look. Now let's have a first look at the connections. So we have two main connections to the airport. So the first one is this one here which is the direct uh, highway access to the airport so direct highway onto a mini highway now you might be thinking is that steep it's actually not too steep um, it took me a while to get this all flattened out I found that the best space to do it is kind of on the cliff right next to the water right there but it comes around now I made it like this so all of the trucks will prefer to use this side so the way I did that is of course direct highway access but I also made the speed limits on this one a lot higher as well so it's going to be a lot more quicker than going the other way and I'll show you why as well so it comes right into the industrial side so I didn't want all the trucks to come into the passenger side because that's just going to seem messy so all of the trucks come into the the cargo plane side which obviously makes sense now if I just exit first person mode we also have this one this road over here so there are still road access to this cargo space but uh, this side is more for cars it's more for buses scooters things like that um, the reason being is that it basically goes straight over the highway and then goes down into what is going to be a future suburb of the city which connects up to the downtown very quickly so there's no highway connection here I also added in this road right here next to the highway which goes along here like this duh, 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 and then comes up to this highway intersection here so they can get onto the highway if they want but the main reason why I connected it here because here is because it connects to this elevated road that goes in through the city and bypasses everywhere and you can also just go on the highway and then go off here which takes you then into this whole urban area well future urban area as well so by doing that i've made all of the trucks prefer to use this side which is exactly what i wanted now let's go in and have a look so there is a theme the theme is factories and abandonment and old <laughs> so there's a lot of industrial in this whole area there's a lot so if we go over to the cargo side first there's a lot of older style buildings so a lot of warehouses and things like that we have this let's just say this is a sawmill we have the big chimneys uh, we have all of the older buildings we just have grass we don't have any fancy gardens or anything like that and we have this big old abandoned warehouse as well i like how it looks because i was thinking maybe this whole area 
it can historically be like one huge mine or something that was kind of somewhat abandoned but was then bought by the airport and then an airport was built there so the traffic comes in here like so it comes in 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 and the reason why it's backing up a little is simply because how it connects to the cargo plane it goes in single file so in out in out and it's a very very slow process um so i just made it so they go in and then they can go around like this and then go straight back down the highway as well but cars uh, trucks can still come in through this way and connect up in through there but i made it so they can actually only go out this way simply because i just didn't want them to use that way i, I mean some of them do um, but I really want them to use this one more. I also added in this slip dirt road on the back as well in case I want to bypass through here But it's very very slow the speed limit, so it's not going to be very appealing, which is what I wanted now The budget for the plane. I actually reduced that right down simply because the amount of planes that were coming in when it was set at a hundred percent was too crazy when there's more planes There's going to be more trucks. It was just it was mental, it was just ridiculous. So I put it right down. As a result, there's not as many cargo planes, but there's really rarely any passenger flights coming in. So uh, maybe I messed up that a little bit, but there's also another issue with the plane line, which I'll show you in a second. But this is the cargo side. Um, I like how it looks. It's not manicured, but it, I mean, it's still functionable. And yeah, I like it, looks good. So. You'll notice that I also added in, if we just reverse, beep, beep, um, I added in this other road here as well. So this one, reason being is that I thought it was good to have another connection that goes from the cargo side to the passenger side as well. Now, I reduced the, the terrain level here because I didn't want the cars to be on the same level as up here, which is basically where the planes will come in. And although the planes will be kind of off the ground by this point, I just didn't want them to be on the same level. So I thought it was good to reduce this road down. So this one, this is the industries, the industries road, comes over here into this industrial area, which is also the passenger side. So we have more of those sawmills, we have a police station, um, we have the taxi depot, we have a, a crematorium because there was a death issue, and then we also have the recycling plant here as well. And then we have some cargo things, we have a whole lot of other industrial buildings as well. Bit of, it's not very manicured. Um, so yeah, I like, I like how it looks with the big chimneys. Where's the chimney? There's a chimney, it gives it that very industrial vibe. Um, there's some more abandoned buildings here as well, which I've used a, th a few times throughout this whole area. Um, and then we go up here a little bit more, and that's kind of the industrial part of it done. Now, if I just exit first person again, and it's going to put us all the way over here. Let's go back over to here. Da, 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 da. This is the passenger airport side. So it's, it's small, it's cute, but it does what it's supposed to do. But let's start over here. So, actually, I want to... <laughs> I want to show you guys a few things. Um, there's a few abandoned buildings in this whole area, so keeping in theme with the whole industrial vibe, some abandoned buildings. There's this one here, so you come along. Then you also have this abandoned witch's building. Um, excuse me. Oh, hello. Who are you? What are you doing here? This is in the workshop. This is called a abandoned witch house or witch house or something like that. I also added in this big old stone wall. I love how it looks because it just gives it that that nice theme that I wanted with the whole abandonment and very old looking. But anyway, let's go back to the road. So we come around here, just a very generic road. Um, comes around here, then we get into the main part. So there's a bus right there. We'll get to the buses in a second. But when you enter the whole area, there's a few abandoned buildings. So if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, this white building is from that show. Um, there's this here, which is a gas station, which is abandoned. We have this hotel, which is abandoned with a few abandoned cars as well. And we have the old sign route 66 motel, not a hotel, it's a motel. But then once we get past that, we come here, we get to the main roundabout. SMV is the code for the airport. So semi Vostok. Now I wasn't sure if I should put it in the Russian alphabet, which would be, a, which would be a little bit different, but it's in English. So semi Vostok SMV. Now. Why do I have a roundabout here? So the reason being is to help spread out traffic with an intersection 
um, that would just cause too many issues because there's so many different ways that cars can go. So to the left is the bus lane. So that will take you right up to the passenger station. There's a, a drop off point. Straight ahead is the, oops, you can't see if we peek through there. That is going to the main, just, it's just the main road that goes through the whole area. And then to the right goes to all of the parking complexes, which is those big buildings in the background to the right there. So if I just show you guys, we're going along in first person, come along here, we've got a nice hedge. Um, this building here is a big commercial building, but it looks kind of abandoned, doesn't it? No one's there. But anyway, this um, this is all for the parking, so they come along here, duh, 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 and here they are. And these actually do work, so if you go here, you can see that it's connected like that. And if you actually go in, you can follow it up. The, the ramps actually go all the way up. So they turn around here. I'm not very good at this first person mod, but you come around, it's, oof, come up here again, and then eventually it goes around, 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 and you get to the top up here like so. So there's a few of these along here as well, um, and they all do have actual road connections, which is this road down here. And the asset also has its own pedestrian pathway. It was connected like this, so I don't know if they use that. It looks kind of ugly, but I thought, you know what, I'll just connect it anyway. So it goes down here, connects over the road, and then connects into the main area like so. Which brings us to the main area, which is this part right here. So yes, there's palm trees, but I was, I was going to change that, but I thought, you know what, it looks good. To the right is kind of like the... Uh, the passenger drop-off zone, so they can just enter from the main road following that that orangey yellow car. They can go in, and they can drop off, and then they can exit over there onto the main road. And I'm just going to exit first person. There we go, that's better. Just like that. So they can go in, drop off here. It's kind of like a roundabout, so they can go in, then exit. Then they can either go this way, which will take them directly to the highway, or they can go this way, which will take them directly to the city. Um, and then so the bus goes up through here goes along uh, you can see that there's some people here waiting for the bus already so I put in a bus that has a capacity of like 70 people which is a little bit more than the ordinary vanilla bus in the city so it goes around like that connects up goes around and then back so I thought that was good to have it just back a little bit so it's not on the main road it's just something a little bit different um, just to separate it a little bit um, and then we have these plain hangers here we have this office building we have this commercial is that commercial that's the commercial then we have this one as well which is office and then just in here we have some cargo things some abandoned cars again kind of overgrown garden um what was this it doesn't really say what it is i don't know what that is um we have this warehouse right here and yeah so you can see that i'm tr i'm getting a bit of a theme going on right and then so that's just the main road over there and i explained those things now in terms of how I connected the airport to the road, it's actually this little road connection through here. Uh, if I can just choose this one, so you can see where it's highlighted. So I, you technically need to have a road connection for them to get to, but I made it so they can only go here and then turn and then turn back. So the vehicles on this side, they can't go straight through. Vehicles here, they can't go straight through, which I, I didn't want. So I just left it like that. So if there's any service vehicles that need to come in, they can just easily connect up right there. Um, because beforehand, I didn't have any connection through here and it wasn't actually connecting in general. Um, so it wasn't working. There's was too many issues with, the, with all the facilities and stuff. Um, this asset here is the country airport terminal i just added it in for effect we have a few russian buildings to remind us that we are in a russian themed city and yeah so the bus stop there's a direct bus that goes from here goes all the way down into the downtown area connects all the way back so there's only one there's only two two stops there and there so direct access direct access now the planes the planes have a crazy layout um if i just pause because i just ugh, it's just annoying but you can see this purpley line is the way that the planes go so you, can, so you can see i have this nice smooth one that goes all the way through over the downtown area and it's very smooth right but the planes have a mind of their own now just while i wait for a plane to come in i'll just show you guys i added in some little planes here we have this bigger one some helicopters and then some of those little trucks that carry your lag your luggage around okay here's one okay 
we are going to follow this cargo one and if you get dizzy easy don't watch this <laughs> don't watch so like i said i showed you guys the the pathway that i want them to follow it's generally it's smooth it's a straight line but the planes have a mind of their own so get ready for this they go wonky they go left and right ready oh look at it go oh my god look where's it going oh my god oh my god <laughs> Oh my god, like, what is it doing? Why is it doing that? I, I don't know. I don't get it because the pathway is so smooth. I mean, the, the plane pathway is smooth. And then it does this. Um, I'm sure some planes do this, kind of like this slowly, like, turning up spiral type thing. But then it goes crazy. Look at this. Whoa. <laughs> Could you imagine if... Oh my god. Oh my god. That's just crazy. Why does it do that? And then eventually it gets to the, the right level that it wants and then it smoothens out. But getting to this point is a nightmare. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my god. Oh, okay, then we went out of the map. But yeah, um, does anyone know how to fix that? Because if we watch this one, I just speed it up a bit. It's crazy. It, it kind of wrecks it. Um, yeah, here we go. Ready? Oh, look at it go. Oh my god. And then sometimes they fly out to this side as well. And then look at it go. Oh, crazy. I don't know. But at least they're doing it right above the airport, so at least they're not doing it like way out here. So at least it's kind of confined to that area. Um, so I think I think I've covered most of it. So they go in, they go straight out. Car, they can still come in through this way. Um, but yeah, it's just the connection to the airport that slows it right down like that. But yeah, they they can connect right out through there, which is easy. They can go underneath there. Um, and then I removed some of the ground just to make it a lot more easier for them to come in. I removed some of the trees, removed some of the trees over this side as well. And I think that is generally it. Um, hmm. I put, a, I put an abandoned house up here with a truck. Uh, what else? Oh, off he goes. Oh, he's going to the left. Actually, that one's pretty smooth. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Filled me good. Now, in terms of other public transport, I didn't think it was a good idea to put anything else because it would kind of ruin the image that I was going for. So if I were, for example, to put a monorail through here, it, it just wouldn't fit in. Same with a tram as well. It just wouldn't fit in with the shape, I don't think. Um, if you upgrade to the larger cargo airport that actually has a train station built in, but to get a train up here, I think would also be a bit of a nightmare because of the, the terrain as well. Um, I know some of you were wanting that, but I, I looked at it, but it just, it just doesn't fit. Like, just imagine like trying to get it through down here and trying to make it actually look realistic. It just, I just don't think it would be good at all, to be honest. Yeah, I just don't think it would be good. So for now, we'll just keep with the one bus line. I mean, it does the job. There's not really many. I don't think I've seen one plane, passenger plane come in yet. That's strange. I don't know what happened. I don't know. So I think that's all I got for you guys. So just showing you guys, this, it's kind of a big loop, basically. And I know this looks like there's a lot of traffic, but they're just slowing down because of the corners as well. Um, and I did that because it was too steep if I just go directly straight up through there. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. So what do you guys think? I think it's a good, good size for the location. Um, good amount of traffic coming in. I think I've generally managed the traffic. The main issue is just how the planes take off. I mean, that is, it's just wacky. I don't know what to do about that. So just, if anyone has any suggestion about that, that would be great because I don't know what else to do about those. But you know what? Maybe that's just how it is. So... Yeah, so what do you guys think of all of the industrial, like all of the, the trees, the location, things like that? Let me know. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and um, I'll see you guys very soon. Don't forget to give this video a like and comment, blah, 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 subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.